Hi guys, I'm Matt from Switzerland and I developed a new keyboard for smartphones. I call it the PET keyboard. The problem I tried to solve is um, the following. The keyboards, the regular keyboards of smartphones, they typically have very small keys, especially when you hold your phone in the most comfortable upright position. So it's kind of difficult to hit them accurately. Now with the PET keyboard, it's much easier to hit the keys accurately. And that is because the keys of the pet keyboard are much larger. I only have 4x4 four four keys and because the keys are so big and I have so few of them I have to associate multiple letters with a single key. And now the way, way to invoke the different letters on a single key is as follows. When you just press the key you get the first letter of each key. Now to reach the other letters, for instance the R, you perform a little pet motion and that's why I called it keyboard pet keyboard. So that is pretty simple. Now let me tap the word hello to show you how this works. Hello. That's it. Now for each key when I press it I have a lot more than just three slots. So I use these other slots first to write capital letters with a single pet motion and also letter combinations that often occur in the English language and short English words. So with that you can for instance type the uh, little sentence uh, like this with very few strokes. So it is fun to type with the uh, pet key board. Okay. Now it is uh, easy to reach all the characters, but still, pet motions are slower than single hits of the keyboard. Um, now, what I did to make typing even faster it was I included a dictionary. So in English, in the English version I have a hundred thousand English words uh, stored in that dictionary and in the German version I have a three hundred thousand words stored to make typing even faster. So what does this dictionary do? Um, basically when you write, want to type a word, for instance hello, you just omit the pet motions um, and just hit the keys like this. So let's say we want to type hello, I just press ha oops, hello and I get this. Of course this is not what I want but what you can do now is to type hello and just leave your finger on the last key and then the pet keyboard shows you uh, candidates, words that match with the keys that you just pressed and the most likely candidate is always next to your key. So hello is right here. Here you go. So with that you can type longer sentences much fast, much faster. So let's say we want to type with the dictionary. Dictionary typing is much faster. Oops. Okay. There are a few other keys. For instance, the green one is to type numbers like this. Or if you want to type longer numbers, hit it once and then type your long number. Or we have some extras in this green button. For instance, to type a date very fast goes like this, let's say Friday um, 2 25 p.m. Or we have the symbols with this brown key or more symbols like this. And then we have the variables and I think this is the uh, coolest feature of the keyboard. So what you can do here is you can store 
entire sentences or your own uh, letter combinations behind these keys here. So let's say you want to write take care Uh, Matt and then store this in the variable so you just press here stay on one slot wait until it's stored and then you can simply invoke this sentence by just move here and then here you go you can also store passwords uh, many people including me have problems remembering all the passwords they have so in order to do this, let's just write the password here. Password. And then add a little star. And now when you read that in, you see that you only see these three stars. Um, and when you invoke the key, you get your password back. Then what else? Um, you can change all the preferences from this enter key here. So for instance, the speed of the keyboard, or uh, you can also um, set auto space on and off. You can change the layout here from English to German. And oh yes, something I forgot to show is that uh, the dictionary actually helps you also to type apostrophes or umlaute in German. So in English, in order to type an apostrophe, you just don't type it. It's as simple as this. So let's say you write don't or I've or haven't. That's very simple. Oops. Or when I go to German, German layout, I get the umlaute for free. So let's say apfel. Here you go. And then fallen from Baum. So another thing is that you get capitalization also for free. So Baum is capital in German and here you go. You get the capital Baum. And one other thing, you can also um, show the candidates uh, next to the keyboard. So for instance, let's say we want to sh see them here. Let me go back to the English layout and again type hello. So as you can see, the hello pops up here and with the candidates right here, you can actually stop as soon as you see what you want to type up here. So take, you already have to take here, care, here we have to go all the way. And then what else? We have a bunch of editor commands below or behind the space key. So for instance, move the cursor up, down, left, right, editor commands like copy, paste and start, stop selection. And finally, we have a deletion for characters or for uh, entire words. And so when you say delete word, you delete the word and of course uh, delete all. I've done this many times in this video, it deletes the entire text. I hope I could convince you that the Pred Keyboard is a very useful app. So please visit us at www.petkeyboard.com. Thank you.